A Nampa family stops by to check on their vacant property only to find a stranger had moved in. Uh-huh, the stranger, a single mom, claims she's the tenant, saying she signed a lease with a man, even got a set of keys, and shelled out $1,500 in deposits and rent. So now the property owners are forced to take on the role of landlords, bringing her to court for eviction. Fox 9's Karen Lair has the details in this Fox 9 exclusive. That's right, Roland and Michelle. This Nampa home on Southwestwood Street is owned by Renee and Brian Prindle. Now, they're in the process of selling their home and are expected to close on it next week. But right now, a woman they don't even know is living inside, and local police say it's not a criminal issue. You got to be kidding me. I'm not. She doesn't belong there. Why, why, I don't understand why we can't take it to court and have her evicted based on. This is fake. This is all imaginary. There's, we're not landlords and she's not our tenant. Renee Prindle and her family have been regularly checking on their Westwood Street property as they go through the selling process with a buyer in California. But what they found one afternoon, they never expected. Our outside lights are on, our inside lights are on, there's sheets covering up the windows. A woman they've never met before had just moved in, claiming she signed a lease to rent the property from a man who identified himself as Daniel Brink. And they took you inside? They took me man? inside, uh huh. Did he have a key? Yeah. He had the key, went in, showed me the house. We obtained a copy of the lease from the police department and discovered the address linked with Daniel Brink is associated with a Portland homeless shelter. The rightful property owners now stuck cleaning up someone else's mess, and the tenant isn't going anywhere. Cigarette buds everywhere. She was letting her cat use our carpet as a litter box. So there was feces and, and food, molded food, <laughs> all over um, my daughter's old bedroom. And we told the cops, we don't know this woman. Our home is not for rent. Our signatures are not on the lease agreement. We don't have a contract with this woman, and she's trespassing. Yet, Renee says the police granted the woman permission to stay and told the homeowners they had no rights to enter their home. They told me I have every right to stay there if I have nowhere else to go because I did have the lease. The cops said because of, we had to respect her privacy and we were not allowed to go into our home, and we could smell the cigarette smoke was horrible and we weren't allowed to search our property. So we asked the police if they would search the property, and they said they couldn't. The homeowners came to an agreement with the woman that she'd find somewhere else to stay by that Sunday night. So they showed up at 6 p.m. as discussed and changed the locks, but the phone call they received after that only complicated things further. And we got a call from the police station, and the cop said she had every right to break a window if she needed to. It was getting late, it was getting cold, I had every right if I had to break in the house, to break in the house, that I could. The cops told you that? Yeah. To prevent any further damage to their home, the Prindles decided to go back to the house and remove the new locks. And Nampa police say they're staying out of it because it's a civil issue. I don't understand how something so obviously criminal, the big picture is very criminal. Someone broke into our home, changed our locks, and is living there. Whether it's her or not, this is a criminal matter. It's not a civil matter. Allowing a stranger to stay in the home they're in the process of selling is leaving the property owners extremely unsettled as they continue searching for answers. Why is the police department not helping us? I mean, this is it's just absurd that someone can have a piece of paper and suddenly have rights to someone else's property. There needs to be changes. There absolutely needs to be changes. Now, so far, this whole ordeal has cost the homeowners several hundred dollars. They've had to hire a civil attorney and are taking Deborah to court for an expedited eviction hearing scheduled for Monday at 9 a.m. April 11th. Now, tomorrow night, hear from a lawyer who specializes in real estate law about what your rights are as a property owner. Reporting live in Nampa, I'm Karen Lair, Fox 9 News at 9.